Hello and welcome to the channel. A well-placed insider has laid the blame squarely at the doorstep of the presidency in relation to the continuous oil theft carried out in the country. He says the only reason it persists is because the president allows it. Indicting, but not at all surprising. I'm sure every one of us know they've all been in on it. Our president, them. Let's talk details. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Oil theft thrives in Nigeria because presidency doesn't want it stopped. By Elsa Monarch. The Ibenana away of Ekbetiama Kingdom and Sherman Council of Traditional Rulers in Bayelsa State, King Bubaraye Dakolo Agada IV has blamed the presidency and the Nigerian government for the incessant oil theft in the country. According to the prominent monarch in South South Nigeria, the problem persists because it is condoned by the Nigerian president and its leader. The incumbent president, Bola Tinubu, was sworn in on May 29, 2023. His predecessor, Muhammadu Buhari, was in office for eight years. In an interview with The Sun, the monarch said, However, it is a big shame to the federal government of Nigeria that this is happening because everything comes from them. I have been in the military myself, so I know the psychology of the military. Today, if Mr. President wants to stop crude oil theft, 14 days is too much. He will stop it. The same military you talk about are not made up of dumb people. They are made of trained professionals, trained in the heart of defense of the Nigerian state. They are not fools. So, if Mr. President wants them to effectively do their job, you give them training, equipment and money to do all that is required. Then you give them the right marching orders. It is not just to come on TV and say you want to stop crude oil theft. The security agencies over the years have seen that the federal government is not serious about combating oil theft. They have seen that the federal government is only putting them in harm's way. I was a member of the 38th regular course, so I know how everything works. The security agencies are not curbing oil because the presidency does not want it to be curbed. The Nigerian state has left the job it ought to do and is doing things it should not do. It does not matter if they deploy the military. The federal government has not given them the effective orders. It is very important. There are what they call effective orders. I know how to give effective orders, and the executive can give effective orders. According to the king, the mismanagement of Nigeria's oil resources in the past 67 years is the reason for the continued crude oil theft. He said, oil and gas resources have been so poorly managed to the point that Nigerians hardly knew how many barrels the country produced. So, it is like you have a priceless commodity, but you don't seem to care how it is dug out of the ground and how it is sold. In fact, Europeans have collected on our behalf our oil and sell at some cost before allowing them to sell at a universal cost, thereby fleecing the hell out of us, and the Nigerian government does not seem to care. The oil resources and its mismanagement has destroyed agriculture, damage the environment, manufacturing, security, and every other thing in this country. Individuals and foreign governments have been part of crude oil theft, and we have a docile Nigerian government sitting like a lame dog and allowing this to happen without any consequences, more or less. Over the years, more people have got involved. Nigeria loses about 200,000 barrels a day to oil thievery. That is the statistics. It is not from me. NNPC can corroborate. At one time last year, NNPC said it was losing $750 million every month. The quantum of oil being stolen cannot be stolen by one riffraff. You can't steal this oil and put it in your back pocket. It is stolen and put into a large ocean-going vessel, stolen from the real terminals where oil is supposed to be exported. This is what has been going on for years. Nigeria has lost so much money to oil thievery. Oil theft is now like a national pastime. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. The federal government has been joking over the crude oil theft. In the last eight years, Nigeria had a president who was also the petroleum minister. 
That was when the crime in the oil industry went to the highest level in history. The military is a subordinate institution in the governance of this country. They are answerable to civilian authority. Civilians must learn how to call a spade a spade and allow the military to function. The reason we are alive is because we have not given up hope. I would not give up hope, and I expect him to do his best for the Niger Delta. Doing his best for the Niger Delta actually means doing his best for the country. The reason why Nigeria is suffering is because of the insincerity of the Nigerian government to the Niger Delta people. Oil is the main source of revenue for Nigeria, and yet Nigeria is not fair to the people where the revenue comes from. If you go around the Niger Delta, you will see squalor side by side with opulence and affluence. So long as the Nigerian state wants to remain detached from the issues in the Niger Delta, so long the country will continue to suffer. President Tinubu will need to be fair, extremely fair to the people of the Niger Delta. He should not just have a ministry of Niger Delta, but a ministry of Niger Delta that he would ensure does its work. We should not just have an NDDC that they use for election, but a functional and effective NDDC. There is no reason why we should have an NDDC that was created 23 years ago with billions of naira sunk into thousands of failed projects everywhere as the signature of NDDC. Continuing, he said, the PIHA here is an anti-people act designed against the oil producing people. It is designed in favor of the oil companies to the exclusion of the Niger Delta people. For the past 25 years, we have had a joint task force for the security of oil and gas installations, and for 25 years, they have not been able to curb oil theft in any reasonable way. No big oil thief has been jailed. It has even gone to an all-time high in the last few years. So now, if trained professionals cannot stop oil theft, the PIHA says my kingdom will benefit only if there is no hiccup in oil production in my domain. Now my domain is accessible by water, which means someone can take a fast speedboat from Lagos and come to my kingdom or anywhere else, then disappear. But it is my people that will be denied the paltry 3%. So the question is, why would you give to civilians in oil producing communities what the security agencies cannot stop? Is that not callousness? When the bill initially came 20 years ago, it was good for everybody. But the oil industry did not want to hear that, so they bribed all those they could. We know this and how Ghana must go bags were shared at the National Assembly for them to pass this anti-people law. It is actually a time bomb because they left out the states and the entire operations take place in the states. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.